is April 1st, and that means opening day of trout season here in upstate New York. Fish, fish on. There's a ton of fish in here. Hold them up. That's like a 14 inch. Oh boy. Just like the big fish. That's not one of them, baby. Got one. Nice one. This is the best day of trout fishing I've ever had in my entire life. Awesome. All right, it's April 1st, and that means opening day of trout season here in upstate New York. So I'm going out with my buddy Bobo, who's in the gas station grabbing some food right now. And we've kind of devised a plan to fish some public and hike around a little bit and explore in a stream that we know is pretty loaded. So we're excited. We've been waiting a long time. The water is perfect. We've been driving around looking at the streams. It's looking really good. Last night we got a lot of rain, so we were kind of kind of nervous about it, but it turned out really nice. We're gonna get in there, park our car, hike probably, I don't know, a mile or so into the to the creek and, and see what we can come up with. Stick around, we hope you like this one. All right, we found our spot, found this new little road that we have never been on, and we're gonna walk the state woods down into the creek. What are you doing, Bobo? We're getting up my little two inch power bait minnow, black shad. I've been having good success early season using these for the brookies and the browns. So, little 32nd or 16th house jig head. And that's all you need. Just like that. I'll take that off there. I was crappy fishing with this rod recently, so I'll take that off. And then, uh, yeah, just fish it down through there like it would be walleye fishing. Let's do it. That is exactly what we're looking for. So, Where's your first cast going to be? So the way to fish this, since the water is fairly clear, the way to fish this is to start at the back of the pool and work your way up through there so you don't go... A lot of people make the mistake of going right to the head of the pool, and the fish are always facing upstream, so they're going to see you. When you walk up on a pool like this, if you can do it, start at the back end and work your way up towards the head of the pool just so you don't spook the hole out. So Jake's going to sneak up on this hole. It's a nice little run that comes off those riffles right underneath this hemlock tree. So he's going to get up in there and toss one up and see if he can pull something up out of there. I'd say, see where those rocks point out into the water right there? Try to get up there so you can cast up towards that log and swim and just start swimming it right back. Start really immediately. Going to that, casting that way. There we go, good cast. Fish? Got fish? One. Fish? Fish on! Yeah, baby. I knew it. Ooh, nice little brownie. Yeah, whoa, whoa. I did exactly what you said. <laughs> that is awesome, dude. Yeah, yeah baby. Oh, on the board. First one. First trout of the year. Yeah, baby. Heck yeah. Let's see that small, buddy. That's awesome. <laughs> Hooked him perfect. That's what we're talking about. Perfect hook. Right nice in the side brown. of the beauty. What do you think? 10, 11, 10? Uh, 12, I'd say. I'm nine. That's nine right there. He's 12. definitely 12 inches. Sweet. He hit it in front of that tree. Yep. Yes, Bobo. <laughs> Thanks for letting me sneak up on that. Hey, man. That's good. First fish of the year on the board. What was that, our second hole, really? Our second mm -hmm. real hole? Yeah. Our second hole. We got a lot of fishing left. I saw, you, I saw your rod start to bend. Yeah. As you were reeling. The tension was just starting to pick up from, its, from the swing when he hit it. All right, so we got a little break before our next fishing worthy area. It's a little ways up, but it may or may not be our last stop at, at this spot. Depends on how the fishing goes and what we see. But it's about another quarter mile, half mile up. All right, well, just broke off my jig, so I'm gonna have to try a little gold Phoebe. Try something a little different.
I dropped my jig right, right onto a snag. It didn't even move a little bit. Broke my hook right off. All right, we're at the new spot. Wind picked up, snow picked up, but I'm gonna run down and see how it is. This is a pretty proven spot. I've caught a lot of brook trout here, natives. So I'm excited. And these are smoke and orange color, one inch power nymph. I've had good success for brookies with these in the past, so we're gonna give these a shot. Little holes like these are perfect. If you got something like that, only matter of time, really. All right, we made it to the hole, the waterfall hole. And before we put a line in the water, we're gonna set up this GoPro that I'm using on that stick right there with an extension on it, on this monopod. We're gonna set it in the hole and see if we can get some fish on camera. You think it'll work? That's great. I think it could be really cool if it works. Let's get to it. I have it, the GoPro sitting on the bottom but tilted back a little. He's stuck on the tree. Brook trout. I'm the nymph. Beauty. They love the nymph. They love it. That's awesome. First brook trout of the year. Oh. Nice little trout ski. All right, now that we're away from the water, we are just heading downstream a little ways to investigate some possible holes. We don't know if there is or isn't any down there, except for one way, way down. So, just kind of an explore playground. See what's there. We might go to another spot, who knows? Keep trying. Straight onto my left knee. So it's barely wet. Yeah, baby. Perfect hook right in the side of the mouth. He's a lively bastard. Yes. yes. Take a look at this. Beautiful. The beautiful fish of New York. Just awesome. All right, it is, what time is it? About six o'clock. Got a little less than two hours of fishing left and we're at our last spot. Kind of drove around and did a little scouting. No lines in the water. Picked up another degenerate. Whoa, buddy Dylan was here to fish last couple hours of light. He just got out of work. So we're gonna boogie down here, down the state line to the stream we know is loaded and we know that flows into another stream that's also loaded. So I you know, hope we can find something. Let's get down there. All right, hole number one was a bust. Good hole, caught fish out of it, just not today. There's a couple more holes working upstream until we get to the big waterfall hole that, that we're really after. So, on to the next one. Nice fish. Beautiful fish. 
Yeah. All right, that's the end of first day of trout season. Caught two browns and two brookies. We'll be after it again tomorrow. Dylan will be with us, probably Bobo too. All right, it's about 7.30 on April 2nd, second day of trout season. We're at my house that I grew up at and we got some of the guys in our man room that we call it, just talking strategy, kind of figuring it out. We got four young guys, me, Dylan from yesterday, our buddy Zach Simerson and his brother Jeremy Simerson. That's gonna be one crew. The second crew is gonna be my dad, Bobo, and our good buddy Craig Biondi. So we don't know what we're gonna do. We know we're gonna split up, divide and conquer. We have a lot of spots on our list of spots and our list of new spots that we haven't been to yet. So let's go inside and see what those guys are scheming up. Today's gonna be a good day. It's sort of chilly, but I think they're gonna be biting. Yeah. So we're gonna go to this pull off right here. Actually, I think I think we should just go to this road right here. Walk in on the state land right here and fish it from this side. If you zoom in, that looks like a sizable freaking creek where there's fit fish are gonna hold in there. Let's do it. That's the old timer crew. They're going elsewhere. We kind of all have our own plans, and we're just gonna do them and check in with each other when we can. We made it to our first destination that Dylan picked out. It's a brook that we've never been to before. It looks small. It looks like there could be a nice hole in it. We're just kind of driving alongside of it until we see something. Oh my! That's a fish. There's a hole there, boy. So today, today is the old bucks versus the young bucks. Young bucks went off who knows where. They were having super secret, top secret discussions this morning about where they were gonna fish. Where'd you guys go? They're, they're Southern Adirondacks? <laughs> <laughs> Southern Adirondacks? <laughs> Ooh. There it is. Here. State Starts right, right, right here. here. Right here. The stream's on that side. Yeah, the stream's on that side. And I think it's definitely worth walking down. He's definitely fishing. That's how you know. It's good. Sometimes it's a good sign. All right, Dylan, what are we doing? Oh! Best <laughs> oh. We're going fishing. We came down to do an exploratory run, investigation, hoping maybe we would find a hole and it was just too small. So, back to the car we go. Downstream to the other holes we saw. First rookie of the year. Let's see him. Beauty. Mikey, what you got? Oh my lord! Look at that fish. What you got there, Mikey? Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! -hoo. dandy! Wow! It's a monster! Look at that. I gotta set him down for a second. He hit it once, right in front of this, and then he hit it literally right next to shore. <laughs> that is a beauty. Yeah, <laughs> baby. Cold morning, but uh, nice fish. could be worth it here with a fish like that. That is a beauty. I'm gonna have to put him on the stringer. And think about it. All right, boys, let's see what you got. <laughs> You're gonna have a hard time beating that one, you young punks. All right, we made it to the bigger river that that little tributary we were just fishing flows into. We're at a public access spot, and we're just gonna gonna fish it. Dylan's getting a little down in the dumps because we only caught one, so we're probably gonna divide and conquer and try and catch some fish. So I'm gonna try my best to get it all on camera, but with four guys and two or three cameras on me. Might be sort of hard, but we'll try. All right, here's the deal. I fished this hole behind me for a couple minutes. Haven't caught anything. And Jeremy brought that one brown down to me that they caught up there. I ran ahead of the guys expecting for them to meet me, but they're staying up there because I think they got on something good. So I'm gonna backtrack and go fish with them guys at wherever they're at right now. Perfect timing. Zach's got one on, baby. Take your time with it. 
It's right here. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's just one of them. So you guys have been hammering them, and I've been all down there. That's like a 14 incher. Did you hook that as I was walking up on you? Pretty much, yeah. <laughs> I like Jake. I had one up on the door in my blind and that, and then I fell trying to catch it. <laughs> you fell? Yeah. So there's a ton of fish in here. The idea is drift it by that tree over there. Got one. Nice one. Nice one. Yeah, boy. First nice. Pass. This is the best day of trout fishing that I've ever had in my entire life. Just awesome. Just awesome. You've just been drifting it into slow water. Minnow and a broke off jig with a worm in it. He's been eating. He's been feeding. He broke people off. Is that your jig? No. You were using the rooster tail? Yeah. Jeremy, did you lose a jig? Get a so picture. That, <laughs> Get a picture. Hold on, I want to see that. So that jig in his mouth right there is Jeremy's. Is Jeremy's, and then Dylan caught him. <laughs> on the rooster tail. Hold there on. it is. Yeah, good fish, Look at dude. That one. Good fish. Nuts. <laughs> no. I had seven people in this so one. we have to do an update. When I ran down river to try and find a hole, these guys stayed and fished this slow stretch. And how many did you catch before I got here? I had three or four. four. You got here. We had four, I think. We had four on the stringer. And now we have six. They're all abnormally huge for where we fish. <laughs> so we're going to go back, get these fish cleaned up. And we're probably going to hit some other streams. We might hit that. We might call it a day. We might meet up with the other guys and see how they're doing. Either way, this is one of the best holes for trout fishing that I've been a part of in a long time. It was really, really fun. Glad to be here. Let's get out of here, back to the house, and see what's next. Oh boy, just hooked a big fish. I'm in a tough spot to try and land them. I can feel it breaking a, oh man. Wow. All right, come on big baby. Wow. So I went a little downstream from Craig and Mike to come down and try some other water down here. And uh, I think that was my fourth cast in this spot. And all of a sudden this fish just hammered it. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, look at that fish. That thing is beautiful. Holy cow. It's all wrapped up in the line. Ooh, that's slippery. <laughs> oh my. There's nine. There's 18. That's about a 20 incher. Uh, the old power bait comes through. See how he's got me wrapped up here. That's a beautiful fish. Get a little wound there. What a beautiful fish. Oh man. Oh. All right, it's later into the afternoon. It's probably about 2.30. And they're doing up their poles before we head out for the afternoon fish. There's only four of us, me, Dylan, Bobo, and my dad. And we're gonna see what we can come up with. Let's see if these guys can figure out whatever project they're messing up. 
right. You got a special I, fancy I, method. I do the same who's thing. Got the, you who's got it. the knife? I'll drink your I beer. Do. Don't worry about it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. We're at probably the last right. spot of the evening. It's a spot that I think we've all caught walleye here before, right? And trout, really. I've caught browns. Browns and walleye. In the same day. Yeah. So we're going to try it. We know where the holes are. Should we're going to sneak down there and hopefully something crazy happens. I'm swinging this way down. No, not yet. I'm here up and down the creek. Yeah. Really? Got one. Right in front of me, you son of a bitch. <laughs> yes. Nice Dylan, bring him over. Yes, baby. He's a beauty. Yeah. Nice fish. That's a beauty. All right, the sun is setting. The second day of trout season is winding down. We chased some trout, we found some trout, and we had a lot of fun along the way. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. It was kind of a unique one. Hopefully you see more of it in the future. If you haven't already, like and subscribe so you can see more. And we'll see you on the next one.